What's up? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's just get right into it because earlier, you know, I squashed the idea that we would see anything significant for this rumored Apple December surprise. But uh, maybe I'm wrong because a new report from Mac Rumors claims an internal memo from Apple has informed service providers that there will be Apple Care related changes on Tuesday, December the 8th at around 5.30 a.m. and that technicians should be ready for new product SKUs, new updated product descriptions, and new updated product pricing. Now, Apple has been known to issue nearly the same type of memo ahead of several product announcements, according to the report. Now, this doesn't mean we're gonna see another event because we would have heard about it by now and let's be real, Apple isn't gonna do four events in four months unless they are, they're not. But in a previous video, we talked about first reports of a potential Apple Christmas surprise. I still don't think it's gonna be something like AirTags or Apple's AirPod Studio. I also could be completely wrong, but if I wanted to just take like a random guess, we saw that leaked list of Apple parts that featured 10 gigabit ethernet part numbers for an M1 Mac mini. Now the new M1 Mac mini only supports gigabit ethernet at the moment. Maybe it's a product tweak like that because that would involve new SKUs and an updated description. That's nothing major, but a new option that's welcome for recently announced products. And I know, I know some of you would just love a new Apple TV, so would I, but now I'm starting to get really curious about what exactly we're gonna see. But I'm just gonna keep my expectations real, real low and stick with my earlier guess for iPhone socks. Now in my last video, we talked about the leaked specs for the next Apple M1X chip and how it's set to be the new chip for the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. A follow-up report by Ming-Chi Kuo claims not only will we see two redesigned MacBook Pros in 2021, which are believed to be the new 14-inch and 16-inch models with Apple Silicon chips and new mini LED displays, Kuo adds that Apple is also working on a new affordable MacBook Air that is expected in 2022. And by affordable, that would have to be less than the $999 price point of the current entry-level M1 MacBook Air. Quo says Apple will be able to do this by offsetting the increased costs of using mini LED displays because the cost of Apple Silicon chips is significantly lower than their deal with Intel for processors. You know, that's why we saw such a huge price cut on the first round of M1 chips, right? Oh, no? They stay the same? Well, mini LED is primed to be really the next new tech for Apple in 2021 alongside the new M1 chips. It uses 1,000 to 10,000 individual LEDs in a display to bring deeper and darker blacks. You get brighter brights, more vibrant colors, and better contrast compared to traditional LED-based displays. TCL was the first TV manufacturer to incorporate the mini LED tech in its TVs, and it's resulted in the best black levels we've ever seen in a backlit LED display that gets the closest to OLED that we've ever seen. So we're excited to see this come to the Mac. Also, Apple just recently started selling the MagSafe Duo Charger for the iPhone 12 lineup and Apple Watch. It's made to be portable, it folds up, it ships with a lightning to USB-C cable. It charges at a maximum 14 watts when used with a 27 watt or higher USB-C power adapter, not the 15 watts that MagSafe itself is capable of directly. Apple's own 20 watt charger doesn't even support the full 15 watts, only up to 11 watts charging when paired with this MagSafe Duo. It also retails for $129 and you still have to purchase a power adapter with it. Because Apple's own 20 watt charger is an additional $19, Apple's 30 watt USB-C power adapter is $49. I don't have one yet, I'm getting one in the mail and this honestly looked really promising when they first announced it, but I'm just gonna have to wait until I check it out in person. But right now, my gut feeling is this is a, I'm not feeling too good Apple about it. Aww. Now a new product called Wrist Cam has been getting a lot of buzz in the community right now because this $299 wristband attaches to the Apple Watch and adds two cameras capturing 1080p video and 4K resolution stills. It's really bulky, but I do think the idea is cool. But I don't know if you remember this, this used to be a company that called themselves Camera or Camera like Camera without the A and the E. Like I was excited about the concept when I first saw it, but they will never publicly explain that this is sending video messages back and forth on its own app platform. This doesn't use FaceTime or Skype like you think it might, but their own messaging app, that's at least what they told me. And I also have an issue with them because they used my own first reaction video in Facebook ads for a few months without my permission. And after I learned more, I asked them to take it down, but they never did. So look, I know there are a lot of hardworking people at this company, but it's a product that I just can't get behind and maybe they can surprise me and surprise you, but it's a risk can't for me right now. Now, if your new iPhone 12 is having battery drain issues or dropping calls, 
you are not alone. Complaints are starting to rise about all four models of the iPhone 12, and these issues aren't affecting everyone, but they're starting to show a trend affecting a good amount of users. Now, I've had the drop call issue more often on regular calls, but I didn't really think anything of it until reading these recent reports because I really use FaceTime audio most of the time anyways, and honestly, you should too when you can. But I'm not affected by this battery drain. People have been reporting a battery drain of 4% every hour, even up to 40% overnight while sleeping, even when they turn off background app refresh. These issues will likely be addressed in some form of a software update, but right now, more and more chatter is building up around them, and I just wanted to make you aware of this if it's happening to you right now, you are not crazy and we'll just have to wait for a resolution. Now, popular messaging app Telegram, it's also started beta testing the Announce Messages feature with Siri. Announce Messages was first launched in iOS 13 and uses Siri to read out the incoming messages and then transcribe your reply when you're wearing AirPods or Powerbeats Pro. Apple has now made the Siri API available to third-party developers so that other messaging apps can take advantage of this functionality. So. If you have access to the Telegram beta, you can find the setting here in settings, notifications, and then announce messages with Siri. And I know we're not out and about as much, but if you still go running or you're working out, this feature is clutch. It works on second gen AirPods, AirPods Pro, Powerbeats, Powerbeats Pro, and Beats Solo Pro. If you have one of those, you should absolutely use this. Now Apple's Pro Display XDR is Apple's flagship display and a new patent filing from Patently Apple might hint that Apple's got another trick up its sleeve. The filing titled Dual Display Stand reveals exactly that. It's a multi-display variant of the Pro Stand that would allow you to adjust up to two external displays at the same time. Instead of adjusting each one individually, which is really kind of like the ultimate first world problem concerning the standard display starts at $4,999. Now the current single Apple Pro Stand is $999. But this stand that they're showing off has two legs spaced apart from one another and it's connected by a horizontal support bar where you can attach the two displays. Now a rail system would allow you to adjust the height of the displays together at once while making smooth, consistent contact. The patent even shows something even cooler, a joint at the center of this dual display stand that would allow you to adjust the angle between the two displays. And I would absolutely love this, like love this. This is one of those patents that you know, I could actually see happen. It makes sense. It's not too far-fetched and it's geared specifically for the Apple Pro user. So could this be the December surprise? No, but if I had to guess it's surprise price point, if this ever comes out, we're talking, I'm gonna put it at like $2,499 for this dual stand beauty. The same price as basically two M1 13 inch MacBook Pros. Like, what would you do with that money? With $2,499, all answers are gonna be accepted. Hey, just put them in the comments and if I like where you're going and what you're thinking, maybe I'll put them in my next video because I do read like 99.999% of them, almost all of them. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, give me that thumbs up, subs up and hit that notification bell, ding, to get all my latest videos when they drop. Also, you gotta check out my Apple Bits XL audio podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and more every week and special guests. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care and be safe. December 8th, that is next week, Tuesday. Y'all gonna be staying up early? Some of us will, I will. We're just gonna have to see what happens. So take care, I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.